You probably already tried to copy data from a PDF like this by copy and pasting it into Excel and it looked something like this. So that's not what you want. Instead, let me show you the correct way of getting PDF data into an Excel file in a format that you can actually read and understand and work with afterwards. Step number one is to go to the data tab and click on get data from file from PDF and then select the PDF you want to convert into Excel. Click import. Now, step number two is to select the data that actually should be imported into Excel. So this little query editor will bring up all the data that it reads from the PDF. And sometimes that's tape that's in tables and sometimes that's just the entire page. But it tries to look for tables first. So this is the table on page one. There are two of those. So the, this is the first table. That's the data that actually we want to put into the Excel file. This is table number two. This is not the data we're looking for. And this is just the entire page. So you almost never want to import the entire page because it's filled with all kinds of data and maybe even formatting that you don't want in your Excel file. So in this case, we're just going to click on the table here and then we move on to step number three. Now we can take this in two directions. So first we can just click here to load this actual table into Excel. But if we click here, we bring it into the Power Query editor where we can manipulate the data and make it fit our needs better. So let's do that. Transform data and then we bring up the Power Query editor. Now, maybe you haven't seen this before. It's not as scary as it looks. This is a tool where you can easily manipulate data and clean up data and put it into Excel. And if we look at the data, we can actually see that it doesn't really fit with what we want it to be. So up here we have the column headers and those are all called column one, column two, three, four. And that's not really the actual header names. Those are here in row number one. So that's a typical mistake that Excel makes when trying to convert PDF data into Excel. We can fix that very easily with Power Query. But before I show you that, please, if you like this video so far, consider subscribing to the channel. It would mean the world to me. Thanks. Okay, so to fix that, we can just click on the button right here. Use first row as headers. So click that and now you can see that the column headers are being replaced with the data that was previously in the first row. This looks like the data we need. So let's put that into Excel again by clicking on the close and load button up here. And then it's being converted into a table and put into Excel. And now we can just use it for anything we want. And we can even format this table differently. If we don't like it, we can go up here and do all sorts of things with it. Instead, if we don't like the format that it came with in the table. Now, here's a cool thing you probably didn't know. When the data is updated in the PDF file, we can just right click this table and hit refresh. And then the data is updated there as well. So let's just try and do that. This is the folder that contains the PDF I imported into Excel with Power Query. So instead of having this right here, I'm going to replace it with another one. I'm just going to drag over from another folder like this and I'm going to replace the file on the destination like this. Now this contains another table that looks a little bit different. We can just click here to open it. And yeah, it actually also contains 2024 data. So you can see it's a little bit different like this. Let's go over here and right click here and click refresh. And now you can see that the extra column is being added to the table over here. Now it doesn't keep the formatting that I put in there manually because this just has the table formatting. But if I didn't format this myself, it would just keep the table formatting that it came with. And that's a pretty nifty feature about Power Query and updating data automatically in Excel. Power Query is a great tool that does many things. And if you want to learn those things, you should watch this video right here.
Now, converting a PDF into Word is sometimes even better than putting it directly into Excel because you get some additional options for retaining formatting. If you want to learn that, you can check out this video right here. Thanks for watching. Bye.